Dr. A. Sevadhanu Pillai, Chief Controller, Defense Research and Development Organization and CEO and MD of Brahmo's Aerospace, on Thursday said that newer technologies and changes would have to be adopted and adapted to ensure that India as a nation remains safe and secure. Speaking exclusively to ANI, Dr. Pillai said that Brahmo's Aerospace, an Indo-Russian joint venture, is now developing hypersonic technology for the Brahmo's missile, which can travel at five to seven times the speed of sound. Today, the war means speed. People are talking about, uh, um, you know, quickly complete the war. If you prolong the war, it will ruin the economy. So, if, in case there is a war, and that war should be done fast. Fast means speed. So the systems which we are uh, trying to develop are related to speed, precision and power. So if you really need to attack the enemy, it is not the people are not the enemies. The assets created to fight against us, they are the enemies. That means we have to quickly destroy those assets. If we have to do and in a situation where nuclear war is not possible, we need precision attack systems. So today Brahmos is one of the top most weapon in the world for precision attack. The fastest missile, it has highly precise it is and it can destroy the any type of uh, target. So today we have realized, but when we talk about tomorrow, this supersonic is not sufficient. We have to go for hypersonic. So we are now currently started working on hypersonic technology which is going to be the future. Speaking specifically about a book, Thoughts for Change, which he has co-authored with former President APJ Abdul Kalam, where there is a mention of 10 futuristic technologies that India can access and adapt, Dr. Pillai said the world has progressed from the Stone Age to the Nuclear Age and in the new millennium, convergent technologies would be more relied upon as this is a hugely useful technology. So as the world trend goes from Stone Age we have crossed nuclear age and we have come to a stage called nanotechnology age. Today, nanotechnology, biotechnology and information technology, they are converging called convergent technology and this is the most powerful technology which has got huge applications. In terms of healthcare, you want to make a defect free human being, that technology will provide. You want the best of the thinking process? Yes. You want to have the brain reproduced? That technology will come. So such a technology marvel is going to come from the this technology that is called convergent technology. Similarly, we have got new types of robotics, automations coming up. So you want to have war fought by the robotics, not by human being. That type of situation you need. You need uh, to go to planets and excavate minerals which can come uh, down to India, uh, down to the world to give energy. So that means you have to send robotic people who can bring those things. So such a situation is coming, automation is taking a big role. Camera person Sohan from New Delhi for ENI.